Hi everybody, this is Abby with Scrap and Abby and I'm back with another video. This is more of a project share video than anything else. These are some projects that um, I actually created some within the past 8 to 10 months and it was before I really started doing um, more of the YouTube videos so I kind of wanted to just do a quick video to share some um, projects with you. These are actually all altered items that I um, created and all of them were for design team projects on the three different ones I'm going to show you guys but I have them displayed in my craft room so I just thought I'd do a little video just to kind of share this with you guys so the first one I'll show you um, these three here these three were made for design team project with three girl jam and in the video description I'll put a link to the original post um, on my blog that has some additional photos and kind of how I um, created each of these sacks and what these originally look like were these little paper bags that you get from like your local hardware store and this is the back side obviously I bought some stuff that day but these are little paper sacks and they gave me a whole big pile of them when I asked if I could have some and so I thought it'd be kind of fun to alter these and include them in my design team project for three girl jam so this is the first one I did and you can see some of that um, tuxedo ribbon this is the Halloween harvest crinkle ribbon that's there I don't remember off the top of my head the paper collections I use. It's been a little while since I made these, but um, I just did some, I used some um, punchinella and did some um, inking there, actually with some brown craft paint. On the sack you can kind of see the glimmer. I used some Tattered Angels um, glimmer paint on that, just some bling from what to scrap. And then I have some of that punchinella right here that you can see, and I used a portion of that for the mask for this right here, and it gave it just a really cool texture, I think, with that glitter. I actually picked this, a big roll, I mean, it's like that huge, oops, about that big of a roll for like a quarter, I think, at a garage sale. It was in um, a gentleman's uh, shop garage area, and it had some dust and cobwebs, but I cleaned it off, and it's really cool. It's like metal filling almost. It's, it's really cool. Um, embellishment to use on projects and then I just crinkled up some cardstock inked it dried it and then made that effect and then I put some more in the back and then I don't believe Three Girl Jam is selling this anymore but it, this is some of the canvas border strips sorry I'm still getting used to my new camera angle <laughs> and um, I just inked it with some distress ink as well and um, put that on the back and then each one has a tag of course because it's the sack itself the little pocket and um, I what I did is I sealed it. This is the back part and I used some score tape to hold it together and then that way it didn't open up all the way like a full sack. It just has like a little pocket tab like this. So, And then what I did is just took some brown cardstock and um, made a little tag. Pretty simple on the inside. Nothing fancy. Oh, looks like my little bit of bling got smushed around. I've had a lot of people look at these and so they've um, kind of got moved around on me. But that's the little journaling spot there. Just a little quick simple stamp. Nothing too fancy. Some more of the tuxedo crinkle ribbon on the top. So there's my first sack and then I also, you can see, um, I just took some decorative scissors on, you know, and then top the tops of the, trim the tops of the sacks off just to kind of give a little more visual interest. This is my next one. I think the, this one and the last one are probably my favorites. This is, um, oof, I'm going to butcher the colors. It's been a little bit. And Julie, I'm sorry if you're watching this. I should know better. Um, but I'll put the, in my original blog post, I have the the colors um, for these crinkle ribbons and then here's another color I think this is the daffodil I think this one might be the oh my goodness I don't want to say it wrong teal or something I, f I forget off the top of my head what that one's called bad Abby bad design team member so I'm really sorry <laughs> I'll go back and edit this in the video and I'll tell you guys what this exact color is and then this is just another piece of cardstock there's a really pretty white butterfly this was white I used some glimmer mist on it to kind of make it match the color scheme a little bit more kind of that you know kind of soft foam green and then what I did on this sack is I used a mixture of some craft paints try to hold it so you can see it there and I just did some craft paint on there once it was dried I took my distress ink I used the Tim Holtz this one here actually I'll show you it's probably one of my go-to inks from Tim Holtz is the walnut stain I use this one quite a bit on my projects and that's I once the craft paint was dry I just went over it with my um, ink tool and did that and this is the back side and I think this is kind of cool I left this on purpose so you could see through or see the original portion of the bag. I think that's just kind of neat. And then, as you can tell here too, I'll pull this out so you can see it. I just use a different kind of decorative um, scissor on that one and then have that crinkle ribbon wrapped around the back. 
And then the tag for this one is another pretty simple journaling card, just a flower journaling spot. And then I topped it off with the two different crinkle ribbons on the top. And then I have a vintage button in the center. And the button actually came from the vintage buttons that you can get from Three Girl Jam. You get a really nice variety in the packs that you get, so it's well worth the money. They're really neat. I love them. And then for the third one, same kind of um, texturing I did on the second one. Just used some craft paint, went around the edges with some different, couple different um, distress inks. I think this one is the worn lipstick, I think. Oh, I can't remember. And then um, I went back over some the cream craft paint again once I got the cardstock put down just to kind of distress the edge of that piece of cardstock. This one has a little bit more um, texturing and detail on it than the other ones. Just lightly took some um, stickles on the flowers. Oops. And um, sorry, I am so trying to get used to this camera angle. There we go. And here you can see in her dress, it's that crackle accents from Tim Holtz. I have that on there too, just to kind of give it a different look. And these two buttons, again, are from the vintage button selection you get from Julie when you buy that, and as well as that pink one there. And then it just wrapped around. And what I did on this is when I trimmed the sacks down, because you can see this is the original size of the sack. So, you know, I had a probably good inch. I took off of the sack and I kept it for some belly bands and that's kind of what I did here. I just used a Martha Stewart punch on that to make that and that's kind of cool because it's got that black line from the sack from the text. I think that's kind of neat looking. And the tag for this one again is fairly simple. Just did a journaling spot on there with a stamp and that's the card stock. This one happened to be a double sided one. And so just made you know just a fun little cute little project. Um, with some just to kind of give you some ideas on how you can turn something like this into some really pretty projects like this that are really quick quick and you know probably the, the longest part was just late waiting for the crackle accents to dry on that one and that wasn't all too long I did that part first while I worked on the other two bags so this was dry by the time I was done the craft paint dries pretty quickly so if you need like a last minute gift or something that you, know, you can tuck like a gift card or something like that inside of a sack and personalize it. it's just really fun so and they're just I think they're really pretty and I have them displayed in my room because I like to look at them and the next one, this is a wood frame that I picked up on one of my Junkin' trips. I got this like, at the Goodwill or something. I don't know. It was less than 50 cents. It was that really, this is the back side. It's wood and it had this really ugly picture, like wallpaper type thing stuck to it. Like, like a, uh, it was like fruit in a bowl or something. It just was very 70s like looking to me or what I would picture that would be from. And so I just took it. Um, actually you spray paint on it and then outside of course and then once it was dried I just did some sanding you know real real easy way to shabby up something and then I added some cardstock this is from the um, when I purchased it was Webster's Pages one of their um, warehouse box kits that I got last fall I believe it was I got a ton of the um, Nantucket collection stuff and this was the paper collection that went with it as well as this little um kind of chipboard coaster embellishment and this little seahorse I got a whole bunch a whole sheet of the hexagon embellishments and then these I believe are from making memories these little stick pins and this again was another design team project for three girl jam and I um what I did is I put in some actually this wasn't I don't this might have been a DT project, but I also made this and submitted it to the Playdate Cafe as well, um, hoping to, to win. I didn't. Boo. But um, anyway, so I'll have to correct myself. I'm not sure if this was a design team project or not, but neither here nor there. It still features the Three Girl Jam Crinkle Ribbon, which is amazing. So I'll zoom in on that one so you can see. Again, I use that same color on this project as I did on this one, and I'll have to look up to tell you what this one is called. And I believe... Ugh, same thing with this one. I'm so sorry. I'm so, I'm such a bad, bad design team member. I can't remember. And then this is the um, somewhere going to scrap bling. And I know the name because this is I have a huge stash of this, so that's why I know that. And this is the same thing here. These little flat back pearls. And then this is some. I think this is from my really reasonable ribbon. Um, I get that ribbon of the month club, or this could be from the Nantucket collection too. I'm not sure. And then I just added some more this I know for sure came from the Nantucket collection and then I just tied it on the top and then it's a wall hanging and it hangs on my my wall just like that so that's the direction it actually hangs in but so this is kind of another fun quick project you know 
just a way another just another idea for you guys if you're out garage selling or going to goodwill or you know places like that and you find find these types of things and you want to alter them even though they might not be your taste when you see them you can really quickly alter them with not very many supplies at all and it did this one another project that didn't take much time the longest part for this was just for the paint to dry and that was like less than you know less than half an hour because it wasn't that big of a, of a piece of wood so there's that project this is um, the third one I'm going to share with you guys today. This was also, I'll go like this, you can kind of see it. I'll turn it this way, even though it's on its side, just so you can kind of get the scale of this. This is that plastic melamine type stuff, and it was gold, 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 gold. And I, again, used some white spray paint on this. And then what I did is I just cut a piece of cork that I bought in some sheets from um, Walmart, I think. And then I just mounted that in the back. And then I took the scraps from the squares and I inked their edges with some dusty concord and then I did some stamping with just some random word stamps that I had from a collection. And it's happiness is to create and inspire. And I have this up on my wall. My desk is here obviously and the wall it's on is over here. So when I'm sitting here creating I can look up there and get like a visual reminder. It's just inspiring to me. I just like the sentiment. And then I stamped a butterfly image and then added some flat pack pearls. And these also are from Want to Scrap from that big, huge stash of stuff I bought from CK Convention 2012. This is a piece of um, purple cardstock. Just stamped um, another stamp on this here. Added some more glimmer, or excuse me, some more of the stickles. This is from the Twinery. And then this one is just a white um, corsage pin. Then I just put some um, alcohol ink over the top of that one. And this one is, I think, from that same pack of Making Memories. This, of course, back here is the beautiful ribbon from three um, from um, May Arts, excuse me. And um, I actually won that spool. I've been lucky enough to be to participate in some of the May Art challenges and and um, when you get in the top 10 you get to pick your spool of, of choice and that was one of my spools I, I chose. This is from just a craft store. It's it comes in it's like what people who crochet and that kind of stuff or do knitting it's that kind of it's like an ombre color it's like shades of purple I don't know the actual name for it because I don't do that kind of crafting but I like the color so I grabbed it this is some more ribbon from the really reasonable ribbon of the month club I'm in and these are a mixture of prima and recollection flowers there I thought that was kind of a pretty little flower cluster and that's kind of the project for this one another idea to use um, you know, frames or things like that that you find from yard sales or, you know, maybe from, you know, like um, a flea market or something like that. You can just simply take some, you know, spray paint or different types of mediums and, um, you know, cover it and make it your own. So, because I thought this was really cool. My friend I was with when I bought the gold frame, she was like, what in the world are you going to do with this? And and I said, let me show you. So I went, I showed it to her, brought it to work once I was done, and she couldn't even believe it was the same one. And I actually have quite a cache of these. I have, I think this came two in a pack, and I have some wall sconces and some different shapes of frames and things that are that plastic, um, you know, decor. So there's that one. And my last item I did not make, but it's crafty nonetheless. I have a co-worker who does knitting and crocheting, and she's made me a couple of hats and some scarves and um, some headbands and I love them. I wore one of my hats the other day. I'll try to get a picture of me with the hats on and, and post them on my blog or I might get brave one of these times and actually show my face on the video. I've only done that one time. I'm nervous that I'm going to start laughing because I have a nervous laugh kind of. So I'm working myself up to doing face-to-face -face, um, videos too. So anyway, so these are the, some little house slippers she bought for me because we don't wear shoes in our house and so sometimes in the winter it gets cold and um, this is what they look like. They're really cute when they're on my foot. Um, purple, obviously, my color. And then this really cool button. It's got some sparkles in it. So, And she made a pair for my daughter, too. Hers are black with hot pink on them because that, those are her favorite colors. So I just kind of wanted to share this with you guys, even though I didn't make them, but they're still crafty. So anyway, so I just wanted to do a video. Hopefully I didn't ramble on too long, just to kind of share with you guys some prior projects that I've done. I will put in the video description the original links to, um, I know for this one, I think I have this one in the posting, and I'm not sure if I do this one because I think this was just for the Playdate Cafe, and I don't think I have any tutorials on how I did it. I just have some pictures of the project completed. So 
But um, anyway, so I just kind of hope I was able to inspire you guys to alter some items that you probably wouldn't necessarily use for crafting and um, give you guys some ideas. And if you um, have any altered items or anything that you guys have done and you'd like to um, put them on your YouTube channel, if you want to do a video response to this one, and then that way I can see what you guys have done. And maybe I can do one of these as one of my giveaways. I've been meaning to do some giveaways with some of the... Um, crafty stuff I bought at the CK convention this year. I haven't done it yet. I'm still trying to figure out a couple ways to do it because I have my one year blog anniversary or excuse me two year blog anniversary coming up in June and I want to do a giveaway for that and then I also wanted to do a couple off my YouTube channel too. One just to kind of let people know I'm out there. I've had a YouTube channel for a few years. I just haven't really done a lot of videos with it. Now that I have a better craft room and a better setup, I'm able to kind of do that. So um, anyway, now I'm rambling again. So I will um, put some kind of notes or something in the video description, but I think that's what I'll do. So if you guys want to do a video response to this one, showing me, you know, it doesn't even have to be like a new project. It could be something you've done, you know, later on, you know, like prior, like all of these were done, like I said, within the last probably 8 to 10 months, possibly 12 months, and um, just kind of let me know, just kind of showing everybody, you know, what you found and how you altered it and made it into something crafty. It doesn't necessarily have to be a paper, paper craft item like this. You know, it could be something on wood or whatever, altered cigar box. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless. And um, that way everybody can kind of see what you guys have done and your interpretation of altering a project and whether you've given it away or use it in your home or something like that. And then what I'll do is... Um, maybe like, um, I don't know, I've, maybe like the 1st of May or something like that. Actually, let me grab my phone and I'll give you guys a date now and I'll put this in the video notes too. So I apologize, I'm just kind of doing this on the fly. So this idea or else I'd have been a little more prepared because I oops, typically am. So I'm a pretty organized kind of a person. So today is the 23rd. So let's say, um, I'll give people time just in case they want to, um, make something which is totally fine I'll give like two weeks so maybe on uh, let's see how about May 7th oops sorry I'm going the wrong month here how about on oh, let's see where are we at oh my goodness sorry you guys my phone was going to the completely wrong month it was like had me push back in March so the 23rd so what if we did um, May 7th yeah I guess I was right so what if we did May 7th as the date that I'll do it like a random um, draw for you know a couple racks a um, couple price pack things uh, that way it'll give people who haven't made anything altered a chance to alter something and get it and do their video response because I know a lot of us are busy working and that kind of stuff and may not have time to to get a video up like in the next week or something so I'll do it already two weeks I'll do a blog post about this as well and then I'll do another reminder video possibly just to kind of remind everybody so I don't have a ton of followers or subscribers yet on my YouTube channel but um so if you guys that do subscribe to me want to participate in this Please do. I think it'd be fun. It's kind of a way for me to get to know more of the people out there on YouTube who have the same love of paper crafting and crafting in general as I do. And it's also a fun way to see what you guys can come up with with altered items as well. So maybe I'll call it the altered item challenge, I guess. I'm not sure. But anyway, nonetheless, I'm going to have a, a giveaway of at least two racks and I'll show you guys. I'll do another video actually with the two different racks. I'll put everything together so you guys can kind of see what you're, what you could be getting. And then, um, you know, so again, so I'll have it today and then I'll draw for a winner on March, or excuse me, May 7th. And that way gives everybody, um, you know, a close to two full weeks to get their projects done. So now that I've talked way longer than I anticipated, I will let you guys go. Thanks for stopping by and checking out another Scrap and Abby video, and I'll see you guys next time.